So there are like a million different types and shapes and sizes of beer glass that are out there. You know, they all have different functionality and, uh, you know, there's an unmistakable mystique to them that's built on history and tradition and ceremony. But don't worry, I'm not here to tell you that the right beer in the wrong glass is going to ruin the beer. It's just not the case. In other beer lessons, I run through all the common beer glassware types, 15 different ones, and talk about which ones I give a thumbs up to and which ones give a thumbs down. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the most important beer glassware types to have in your home or at your bar or restaurant. This is part of a free video series I'm producing with a group called the Restaurant Community, which is all about creating purpose, advancement, and community for those in the restaurant industry. So with all the different glasses out there, which should you use? First off, relax. It's okay, you don't need to use 20 or 30 different glasses to serve your beer in. It's not essential that every beer you serve is in a unique glass, and just because a glass was made with a particular beer in mind doesn't mean you have to use that glass. I love this beer, but this glass isn't that important. It's much more important to use an appropriate glass that's beer clean, pour the beer properly, and then let the beer do the talking. All right, so when choosing the right glass, make sure you consider ABV and intensity. Basically, you think of beer in two camps, all right? There's beer you want to drink, there's beer you want to sip, all right? So if it's a beer you're happy to take a gulp of, then you want to use a bigger glass, okay? Like this tulip pint here, okay? And if it's a beer instead that you'd rather sort of sip and savor, then something curvy and stemmed like this goblet is the way to go. Oh, and make sure you leave enough room in the glass so you can smell the beer, okay? Another huge thing to think about, though, is safe serving. Always keep that in mind. Basically, uh, you know, there are a lot of strong beers these days, so you want to make sure to serve them in smaller portions. All right, so a pint glass is not the way to go. You know, 8 to 10 to 12% alcohol isn't uncommon. Okay, you wouldn't serve someone a pint of wine. You shouldn't do that for strong beer either. All right, let's get to it. My short list, top two beer glasses to have. These are the only ones you really need, uh, regardless of whether you're serving beer from draft or from cans or bottles, okay? So for beers that you want to serve in larger portions, I would go with a tumbler, all right? So something like a tulip pint here or this Villa Becker, all right? So I will admit this is a small Villa Becker. Normally you want a full-size one, but you get an idea for the shape, all right? So the full size is a half liter. Otherwise, it's just like a pint. Okay, this is a half of that. So it's 250 milliliters or eight and a half ounces, and it's great for half portions. Uh, but anyway, so you want a standard Villa Becker or a tulip pint to learn more about these or why I don't recommend shaker pints for beer, uh, make sure to check out my beer lesson on pints and tumblers. All right, so for beers that you want to serve in smaller portions, because maybe they're higher alcohol or they're particularly aromatic, you want to serve them in this curvy glass to get all the aroma from them, or maybe they're a larger bottle size that you want to split into multiple portions, um, you'd use something like a tulip, or a goblet, or uh, an all-purpose wine glass, or even this techie if you want to get fancy. So as long as you've got a tumbler that's a pint or a half liter, uh, as well as some stemware that is uh, great for smaller pours of particularly aromatic beers, uh, you know, you got your bases covered. Okay, now there are other specialty glasses you can consider uh, but only if you pour a lot of these specific styles of beer. All right, so for high ABV, boozy, barrel-aged beers, things like Imperial Stouts and Barley Wines and the like, uh, then a snifter is perfect, okay? Unfortunately, I don't have a snifter with me. Uh, however, um, if you do a lot of German Weiss beers, aka Hefeweizens, uh, this is the glass for that. It's called the Weiss Beer Vase. Um, if you do a lot of Pilsners, okay, particularly German, Czech, and Kraft Pilsners, Okay, we're talking a classic Pilsner glass. And then if you serve a lot of Kolsch, uh, you want to go with a, a Kölner Stange, it's called, a Stange glass. Okay? Um, if you are hip to this glass, you know that this actually isn't the true 200 milliliter Stange. This is a 250 milliliter alt beer glass, but it's really similar. Right? This one's just a little bit wider. Um, anyway, Kolsch is a really popular style of beer, and Stange glassware is usually uh, pretty available in a variety of different sizes. Um, and finally, if you pour a lot of particularly high-end, pretty expensive beer, um, then, a, then a Tecu is the way to go. 
Okay, the Teku uh, adds a nice note of refinement and swagger to the beer. There's many beer glasses out there, as there are beers. But if you're looking to serve the right beer in the proper glassware, don't overthink it. Sticking to the basics I've outlined in this video will give you the tools and confidence to serve your beer right. Head over to therestaurantcommunity.com for more food and beverage service resources. You can watch more videos on all things beer at my YouTube channel, Master Cicerone Rich Higgins. Looking to become a certified Cicerone? Head over to my website, richhiggins.com, where you can check out my video prep course for the certified Cicerone exam, the deductive beer tasting method, join my beer immersions to Belgium and Germany, and also check out my Liquid Bread podcast. Stay in touch and follow me at MultiRich. Cheers.